it will dramatically reduce the quality of life for people in our country, in our city, in our state. I've gone in places where women do not have safe access to abortion. And what you end up with is you end up with women, you end up with children having children. You end up with children having children who can't even work because they have to stay at home to take care of those children. It becomes a vicious cycle. They can't afford to get their children educated. And you end up with the same family making the same mistakes again and again and again. Women deserve the right to be able to plan intelligently and be educated to choose when to have a family so we can do this responsibly, so we can procreate in a way that adds to society. Yes. Not yes. 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 I've been down there in Austin three different times. Two times I didn't get to get in there, but the third time I finally got in close to midnight. And I'll tell you what I told them then. I've been molested. I'm also the I'm adopted child. My biological mother was raped. And I can tell you that there is absolutely nothing in this world that feels more like your freedom has been taken away from you than when you have something done to your body against your will. Yeah. Yes. I can tell you that the moment after that, the last thing you want to have is somebody who's legally required to stick a probe up you. Yeah. You do not want to be touched in those moments. Yes. That, to me, is basically legal molestation. Yes! yes. I also explained to them that if we are going to continue on this path and we look at what happened with the Equal Rights for the Equal Pay for Equal Work Act, what does that mean? That it got docked, that no, that it didn't get passed through. It means that financially, which let's face it, we live in a democracy, we're valued by our financial whatever we end up bringing up, that we are 75 cents as women equal to men to the dollar. That yeah. that is the way our system sees us. Yes. So how can we as women ever be free if we are seen as financially 25 cents less? How is we as women ever to be free if we are seen as something that we can legally be justified having something stuck up in us? How is we as women ever to be free if we cannot decide what happens to our own bodies? Because if you have ever been molested or raped and you end up in such a situation, the last thing you need is for somebody to come in and tell you that you are now legally forced to have that child. And that is what's going to happen yes. as a result of this. So I heard many painful stories from people who proclaim from the pro-life side that they had been forced to have legal, they've been forced to have abortions against their will. That's horrific. But equally horrific is a woman who's forced to be pregnant. Yes. 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 body against your will. There's black and white as that can be. But what I'd like to ask all of you is while and this is going to be fought and I can see months ahead and maybe it'll make its way to the Supreme Court, we still need to care about the people who this is affecting right now. Right now there are people that are going to have to drive six hours to get to Dallas. There's, I was just in Fort Worth at the gathering they had. That clinic is going to close. People in Fort Worth are going to have to drive to Dallas for this. People that don't have the money that have to drive for six hours or whatever, they're going to have to spend the night in our city. These are realities that real people are going to be infected with. This, these are realities that go beyond the statistics. So I urge all of you to think about those women and think about those men too. There are men that are being affected by these yeah, plants. Yes. Yes. There are things that they are not going to be able to have. So we need to think about those people. I myself am going to be setting something up or I'm coaching the Dallas Foundation and if it doesn't work there I'll do it elsewhere. But we're going to be putting up a fund to try and put some money in there for gas, for cars, for yeah. transportation. Thompson Frank, you can find me on Facebook, I'll put it up there, and I'd ask you, if each of you can put $5 in, $10 in, whatever, make it possible so that some woman who gets raped doesn't have to go ahead and have that child because she can't afford the $1,200 it takes to get to Dallas. Yeah. Yeah.